Hi, this is Worth of YoDemo.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to help you get started creating a website in XHTML. One of the first things you want to do is, of course, open up one of those documents that we've created before, which holds all the HTML that we need to set up an HTML based website. The first new item that I added was something inside of the head tag, which is the meta tag for the character type. So just copy and paste this into your HTML document and we can move on. The reason why we're using this meta tag is to tell your browser what character set you're using. So return a couple of times because we have two more meta tags to place in. Meta tags are information for your browser or for search engine spiders that look at your website and want to determine certain things about your website. The next meta tag we want to add is keywords. So you put in a name and we'll equal that to keywords. And what this does is tell any search engine what keywords are associated with your website. Then you want to type in content. And within this content you want to place keywords separated by commas. For instance, if you're doing a website on cake then of course you'd want to put cake inside of your keywords. Uh, also along with something like food or anything else that represents your cake website and just note how I closed it make sure that you close because this is an empty node the next meta tag we want to add is something that gives a description of our website so name and you want to type in description and then the content you want to place in roughly 500 or less characters describing what your website is all about. Um, I cakes for everyone. And after you're done, you just want to close it off. So now when a big company like Google looks at your website, it knows that you have a site that has something about cake and food and in the description it knows that you love to bake cakes for everyone. So from there we can move on into building the structure of your website. There are a few things you want to consider when building the structure of your website and one thing is who is your audience, what do you plan on displaying and what information is most important. So now we'll move down into the body to start creating the structure of our website. The first thing we want is a title and not like the title above, we want a title that the users can see, which is between usually an H1 tag. So H1, and you give your web page that title. So baking cakes. And remember to always close what you open. So there we go, baking cakes. And the next thing you would probably want is some way of writing to the people. So we'll put all of our text inside of a paragraph tag. So what I'll do is paste in some information, some useless information rather, and I'll just make sure that I close the tag on that paragraph. So now I have one paragraph inside of my website. I have my title, Baking Cakes, fake content, we can pretend like this is about baking cakes, and another thing that we want to have is a maybe a different story or another story about baking cakes. So we need to develop some sort of structure exactly like a blog where we have one item where we have our content set up in the standardized form. For instance, there should always be a title and there should always be some sort of um, paragraph structure inside of our content. So we have our header one but header one is usually reserved for the main title of the site so we'll keep that there. So we'd probably need to use something like H5 let's say. So H5. H5 is a smaller header which is good for titles but not the main title. And we can name this Hello Cake. So now we have some sort of structure set up. It has a title and we have a paragraph. So what we want to do is put all of this inside some sort of structure and that structure we're going to use is a divider. Dividers, they're used to essentially divide things into parts and pieces. So it's just div. 
and a divider doesn't do anything until you style it and we're going to get into something more complicated in the tutorials to come well not that complicated but we're going to work on um, CSS which is a language that helps you style and give your HTML document beauty when we create this divider what we want to do is add a class and I'll explain why we use classes you just type in the word class equals and then you type in something any name for me I would go with post we can pretend like this is a post so this is whenever I, I use the class post it's going to copy the same styles that I've used in all my other posts so if I just copy and paste this content again it'll turn out to be identical because they have the same class name of course we didn't create the class yet but we'll do that later and if you're confused by it a class is something that basically defines what the structure colors and style of your divider will look like and the contents inside of it but we'll get to that later first let's look at our content let's save it and then run it inside of Firefox so we can see baking cakes hello cakes and information about it and we see a smaller header for the hello cake in our content now this is starting to look pretty cool although there's not a lot of styling and beauty going on but soon there will, will be we're just getting with the structure and soon we'll have a better structure in the next tutorial thanks for watching getting started uh, make sure you go to my website yodemo.com where you can click on an ad or two to help yodemo.com create more tutorials for you if you love these tutorials rate subscribe comment and um, give me a hug